mean? What do you want to say to them? They're all watching you. I would like you to get out of bed and let me the fuck outside. I don't see you moving fast enough. You are my sunshine, one sunshine. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Yummy. Oh, we look good this morning. It's 6.23. I've actually been up since like 5.10. Basically, I'm an actress. I'm the best at faking wake-up scenes. I mean, technically, I haven't gotten out of bed yet, except for my morning bathroom run. I see so many people posting their hot girl morning routines, and I figured, you know what? I wake up early. My body wakes up before the sun sometimes. I don't understand why. It just happens. So why not be productive with your morning? You guys, recently, my morning routine has been so bad. So bad, you couldn't even call it a routine. I'd wake up, lay in bed. Bed, watch TikTok. Really great way to bring your mind to life in the morning. Maybe read a book, get up, go to the bathroom, go downstairs, eat some breakfast, migrate to the couch, sit on the couch, and watch some more TikToks. You waste so much of your life doing that. Honestly, your phone, TikTok, it just, it sucks up so much of your life, which is so stupid because it's an app, but it TikToks your life away. I keep seeing people post this morning routine. And I think to myself how nice it was when I used to have a morning routine. Today's day two of me doing this. I had nightmares last night, so I woke up a little bit too early for my liking, but we're gonna get moving, get grooving. It's happy girl summer, it's hot girl summer. So we have to start acting like it. Are you stretching? Okay, you ready? Mornings can be so hard. Even though my body wakes up early, that does not make me a morning person. I just really want to specify that. Now I'm ready. You know in the summer when you're off of school and you just forget what day it is? That's what it's like when you work from home every single day. The things we'll do for a clean comb. I've been using this mouthwash and it's honestly disgusting, but it's supposed to help with fresh breath. Ever since I got Prosmia, mint tastes so bad. This tastes like sewage water. I would hate to have smelly breath. Hot girls wash their face, so we're using the oil to milk cleanser from Coco Kind. Sometimes I just feel like it's hard to take time on myself. I can put so much time and energy into other people, but when it's time to sit down and say, hey, you should probably redirect some of that into your own personal being, the person that I'm stuck communicating with in my head all day and I can't run from, it instantly becomes so hard. I genuinely feel like when you have a routine, you feel more stable. Stability is what we're looking for. I'm one of those people that doesn't usually speak until they've had about 100 milligrams of caffeine, which is so bad. I'm back on my Dr. Dennis Gross daily peel grow grind and by grind this is the second day do you see this massive thing on the side of my head last time i was on my period i got a pimple right here i always get random hormonal breakouts it never came to a head like it never was a white head one day i was stupid and i said why don't we just try and pop it and see what happens i was staring into my jeep wrangler passenger door window using it as a mirror and i squeezed her i felt that popping feeling if you know you know underneath my skin now it's a giant ball that won't go away for the first few days i couldn't even sleep on this side of my face and now it doesn't hurt but it's still massive anyone has any advice on how to get rid of that or if i should like go to the doctor for it or something let me know what is my hair doing why does that look like the sweet life of zach and cody's mom this is the sweet life tatcha the dewy serum oh this feels so good we're gonna get that jawline it's the last thing i do i was doing the jack sparrow run stick it in the family we're going with the tatcha dewy skin cream the last step is sunscreen, tiger grass camo drops from Dr. Jart. My skin is pretty red today, so we're gonna use these.
Recently, as I've been waking up, I've been drinking a, a glass of lemon water before I eat anything. Waking up our systems. I'm sure there's some sort of health benefit to lemons, maybe with like digestion or something. I don't know. Drinking water in the morning, and more importantly, drinking lemon water in the morning makes me feel like I have my shit together. I'm gonna take this wellness shot. This one is pineapple orange, so I'm assuming it's going to taste great. This is another one of those things that I don't know if it has actual benefits. I think it just makes you feel like you're doing something right. It makes you feel like you're the it girly, so. Hot girl summer. I asked you guys in one of my last videos when the best time to take your vitamins are. A lot of you guys told me to make sure I'm not taking them with an empty stomach, so I've been taking them with breakfast. I feel like because I don't have the most well-rounded diet, being honest with ourselves, I really gotta make sure I'm getting my vitamins in. The thought of trying to figure out what vitamins I need and everything is just so stressful, so for years I have been using Care Of. I'm sure you've all seen Care Of at this point. They are sponsoring today's video, so a huge thank you to Care Of for sponsoring this video. Care Of is a subscription service that ships high quality personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders to your door every single month. If you are like me and you have no idea what vitamins that you actually need to be taking, like it's so hard. There are so many vitamins out there. Care of makes it so easy and I'm all about things that make my life easier. You hop on their website and you take a quiz. It asks you questions about your diet, about your lifestyle, and health goals in order for it to find the best, most perfect personalized supplements and vitamins just for you. It also helps you stay in a routine and when you're taking these, in my mind, I'm thinking this is to make your body feel good. This is to make your body better. I find that that translates throughout the rest of my day. I'm being more conscious of the things that I'm putting in my body throughout the day. This is my pack of vitamins and I absolutely love that they say my name on them. It's like they're speaking to me every morning. I actually just started taking some new vitamins that I'm really excited about. The first one is ashwagandha and I've heard so many people talking about this vitamin. When I updated my quiz and I saw it on there, I was like, I have to have it, absolutely. If you don't know what it is, it helps with stress and focus. Both are things that I very much struggle with. I'm taking magnesium, which is for your muscle and bone health. A probiotic blend for my gut and my immune health. In today's world, we have to stay safe. A multivitamin just to cover all of those nutrient gaps that I'm probably not getting some days, most days. And some iron because I've always been low on iron. It's just how my body is. I'm gonna take this with my breakfast just because I find that's what sits in my stomach the best. They're made from a plant-based compostable film. They care about the planet. All of their products are made from good for you, clean ingredients. They're backed by all of the latest science and research. That way you guys do not have to ever worry about what you're putting in your body when it comes to care of. You can retake the quiz as what you need grows. Maybe you start working out. You can get different supplements for that. Care of grows with you, which I think is really cool. I highly encourage you guys to take care of's quiz to see what vitamins and supplements they recommend for you. Click the link below and use code Samantha Joe to get 50% off your first order with Care Of. Once again, huge thank you to Care Of for sponsoring this video. This is genuinely a product I have used for such a long time. It's always so cool to get to work with brands that you love. All of that is because you guys support me every single day. I wouldn't have this without you. Let's do a little dance for your support. Do a little da. Do a little da. This is for everybody that doesn't have a good smoothie place around them, or you just wanna make your smoothies at home. I showed my blender in a TikTok. Everyone wanted to know where it was from. I saw Mai and Ava have this blender. It is the most beautiful thing in the world and I couldn't not have it. It works really well too, so if you want the blender, I'll link it down below. I'm running low on frozen fruit. These are strawberries, pine pineapples, although it's in one giant chunk. I'm actually gonna try something new. Once I find something I like, I stick to it. But that's probably because I grew up never trying new things. I'm gonna use coconut water. Am I supposed to shake this? Shake that. Also, I'm gonna put some aloe vera juice in it to top her off. I've been getting into yogurt recently. Yogurt was one of my absolutely not, don't put me near a yogurt container. I will throw up on you if you make me eat that food. Now I'm realizing the hyper on yogurt. It's really good. This thickens up the smoothie a little bit, and this also has a ton of protein in it. a smoothie it gets better and better would buy this from a smoothie shop and then go back and buy it again the aloe vera gives such a nice little flavor i know the thought of aloe is probably disgusting i am such a picky eater but it has such a good flavor i don't know how to explain it this is too hard my avocados aren't ripe enough that's disappointing 
here's the breakfast. Before I got parosmia, I would have put an egg on top of this. Because of parosmia, eggs now taste super gross. Can't have eggs anymore. Imagine this with avocado on it though, because that's how I would prefer it. So my avocado just wasn't ready for me. Little hash browns for some savory. Lemon water. A smoothie. I got these, ne I got nectarines from Trader Joe's yesterday. And I'm really excited to eat one. So I'm gonna have that too. I went upstairs and changed really quick. The only reason I really changed is because I needed a bra. I'm not trying to have that much on her boob sweat. We're gonna go on a little morning walk. Nothing crazy. I'm thinking like 35 minutes. I'm hoping it wakes me up a little bit, gets me moving. We are in our slow, chill, relaxed, taking my time era. But it's time to take my time outside and go for a walk. Got your harness on. Try you your foot. Thank you. These give off don't mess with me on my walk vibes. Why did I buy these? I got these from Buffalo Exchange in Nashville. Why did I purchase these? Maybe they look better from a different angle. Not having good luck with sunglasses recently. tells you how tiring just a walk can be. If you're going uphill, there's construction. I'm not quite sure if I'm the one being walked or if Duncan's the one being walked. I think this walk is for both of us. Okay, dodge a tree. It's an adventure walk. a little OOTD. I don't know where else to put you. This is from ASOS. My shoes are Steve Madden and this is from a shop of things. This is a strawberry latte. I really enjoy their coffee here. I got, it's Dr. Pepper, espresso, espresso, and vanilla. I don't love it. Really? Yeah. Wanna switch? No, like it's, I can drink it. It's just, I think just not what I was like. Cause when we came, we were yeah. going to get the confetti Cuban. Oh, so good. So I was just like all day, I've been thinking about that. And now I have a Dr. Pepper with like coffee. It is fizzy, I love it. Yeah, it's different. This is your sign to spend a little bit of time on yourself this morning. Get up and actually do something. That's hard to hear sometimes, but you gotta get up and you gotta do something and you're gonna feel better. Like I'm so cute. And I got an Instagram picture. You can finish this hard at home. Love you. Mm -hmm. 